From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Friday, March 11th, 2022. I'm D. Ray Knight, and this is what's going on. Here's the latest on the war in Ukraine. Russia is widening its military offensive in Ukraine, striking near airports in the west of the country for the first time as troops keep up pressure on the capital of Kiev. Authorities say the airstrikes on the Lutsk military airfield on Friday left two Ukrainian servicemen dead and six people wounded. The strikes also targeted an airport near Ivano-Frankivsk, where residents were ordered to shelters. New satellite photos, meanwhile, appear to show a massive convoy outside the Ukrainian capital has fanned out into towns and forests near Kiev, with artillery pieces raised for firing in another potentially ominous movement. In news closer to home, Rapid City officials have awarded 15 certificates for medical cannabis dispensaries in the city. The city held a drawing on Wednesday to award the certificates using a random number generator courtesy of the South Dakota Lottery. Each provisional licensee was assigned a number, 1 through 47, with the first 15 receiving certificates. Among those receiving certificates are Puffy's LLC, Rapid City Cannabis, Genesis Farms, Greenlight Dispensary, Hive Collective LLC, and CC Health. Once the certificate holders receive their registration from the state, they will have 14 days to submit the rest of their information, along with a $3,500 license fee. South Dakota lawmakers have struck a deal to defy Governor Nome and pass a $5.8 billion budget. Amy Rose has more. The South Dakota legislator has passed a proposal to give state lawmakers more control over how federal funds are spent defying Governor Kristi Noem and clearing the way for the House and Senate to find agreement on a $5.8 billion state budget. The bipartisan proposal passed on the penultimate day of the legislative session with over two-thirds support in each chamber. It passed despite the Republican governor's ardent objections. And during budget negotiations, a bipartisan proposal emerged to require a legislative budgeting committee to approve state government spending of federal funds if it requires a policy change. Fire crews battled a structure fire Thursday morning on Twilight Drive in Rapid Valley. Firefighters were able to extinguish the fire, but the home is a total loss. Fire officials also say a dog died in the fire, but no other injuries were reported. The cause of the blaze has not been determined. In national and international news, the U.N. Security Council will meet Friday at Russia's request to discuss what Moscow claims are the military biological activities of the U.S. on the territory of Ukraine. The Biden administration and Ukraine's leader reject Russian accusations that Ukraine is running chemical and biological labs with U.S. support. The United States has warned about Russian false flag operations creating a pretext for invasion. Its latest comments suggested Russia might seek to create a pretense for further escalating the offensive that has been slowed but not stopped by Ukrainian defenders. Russia itself has been accused of using chemical weapons in assassination attempts against Putin enemies. Its ally Syria has used chemical weapons against its own people in its 11-year civil war. Meanwhile, the U.S. and its allies are set to revoke Russia's most favored nation status, Chrissy Davies explains. President Joe Biden will announce Friday that along with the European Union and the group of seven countries, the U.S. will move to revoke most favored nation trade status for Russia over its invasion of Ukraine. That's according to a source familiar with the matter who spoke on the condition of anonymity to preview the announcement. Stripping most favored nation status would allow the U.S. and allies to impose higher tariffs on some Russian imports. Biden's move comes as bipartisan pressure has been building in Washington to revoke what is formally known as permanent normal trade relations with Russia. The lockout is over as Major League Baseball's acrimonious players and owners ended their most bitter money fight in a quarter century when a divided Players Association accepted management's offer to salvage a 162-game season that will start April 7th. On the 99th day of a lockout that delayed spring training and threatened to cancel regular season games for the first time since 1995, the Players' Executive Board approved a five-year contract yesterday on a 28-12 vote. Owners ratified the deal 30-0 just three hours later, and the lockout was lifted at 7 p.m., ending baseball's ninth work stoppage. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Snow showers ending this morning and then sunny and windy at times with a high of 25, low tonight 12. Don't forget daylight savings time begins Sunday at 2 a.m. Be sure to set your clocks an hour ahead Saturday night. And that was your Daily Slice for Friday, March 11th, 2022. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose and Chrissy Davies. Executive producer, Mark Houston. Engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.